Hello guys, in your US citizenship interview, the officer will ask you the yes no questions after reviewing your form N-400. Some officers may also ask you to explain some vocabulary to test your English level. This is the most asked 45 word definition you should learn. It's short and easy for you to memorize. If you can remember the 45 word definitions, I believe you can pass your N-400 test easily. So let's get started. O taxes. Overdue. Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? No. Can you explain what owe taxes means? To owe the government money. What does overdue mean? Past a deadline. Jail or prison? Have you ever been in jail or prison? Have you ever been in jail or prison? No. Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in prison or jail? Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in prison or jail? No. Can you explain what jail or prison means? A place where prisoners are kept. Habitual drunkard. Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? No. Can you define habitual drunkard? Someone who drinks too much alcohol regularly. Oath of Allegiance Do you understand the full Oath of Allegiance to the United States? Do you understand the full Oath of Allegiance to the United States? Yes. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes. Do you know what oath of allegiance means? A promise to be loyal to the United States. Gamble. Have you ever gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling? Have you ever gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling? No. What does it mean to gamble? To play a game for money. Vote. Register. Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No. Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No. Can you define vote? To elect new leaders. What does it mean to register? 
to sign up. Totalitarian Party Have you ever been a member of, or in any way associated, either directly or indirectly, with any other totalitarian party? Have you ever been a member of, or in any way associated, either directly or indirectly, with any other totalitarian party? No. Do you know what totalitarian party means? Government controls everything and people have no power. Weapon Weapon training Were you ever a part of any group or did you ever help any group, unit, or organization that used a weapon against any person or threatened to do so? Were you ever a part of any group, or did you ever help any group, unit, or organization that used a weapon against any person, or threatened to do so? No. Did you ever sell, give, or provide weapons to any person, or help another person sell, give, or provide weapons to any person? Did you ever sell, give, or provide weapons to any person, or help another person sell, give, or provide weapons to any person? No. Did you ever receive any type of military, paramilitary, or weapons training? Did you ever receive any type of military, paramilitary, or weapons training? No. Do you know what weapon means? Like a knife or gun. What does weapons training mean? To learn how to use a gun. Persecute. Have you ever persecuted? either directly or indirectly, any person because of race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group, or political opinion? Have you ever persecuted, either directly or indirectly, any person because of race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group, or political opinion? No. Do you understand what persecute means? To hurt someone badly. Non-combatant services. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Yes. Do you understand what non-combatant services means? Services that do not involve combat. Claim to be a U.S. citizen. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen in writing or any other way? Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen in writing or any other way? No. Do you know what claim to be a U.S. citizen means? To state you are a U.S. citizen. Genocide. Were you ever involved in any way with genocide? Were you ever involved in any way with genocide? No. Can you define genocide? To kill a whole race. 
Lie. Have you ever lied to any U.S. government officials to gain entry or admission into the United States or to gain immigration benefits while in the United States? Have you ever lied to any U.S. government officials to gain entry or admission into the United States or to gain immigration benefits while in the United States? No. What does lie mean? To say something that is not true. File a tax return. Have you ever not filed a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? Have you ever not filed a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? No. Do you know what file a tax return means? To send tax paperwork to the government. Illegal drugs or narcotics. Smuggle. Have you ever sold or smuggled controlled substances, illegal drugs, or narcotics? Have you ever sold or smuggled controlled substances, illegal drugs, or narcotics? No. Can you define illegal drugs or narcotics? Like heroin or cocaine. What does smuggle mean? To take things to a country illegally. Arrested. Cited. Have you ever committed, assisted in committing, or attempted to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? Have you ever committed, assisted in committing, or attempted to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? No. Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer, including any immigration official or any official of the U.S. Armed Forces, for any reason? Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer, including any immigration official or any official of the U.S. Armed Forces, for any reason? No. What does arrested mean? Handcuffed by the police. Do you understand what cited is? Given a ticket by the police. Pay alimony. Have you ever failed to support your dependents or to pay alimony? Have you ever failed to support your dependents or to pay alimony? No. Do you know what pay alimony means? To pay money to ex-spouse after a divorce. Communist Party have you ever been a member of, or in any way associated, either directly or indirectly, with the Communist Party? Have you ever been a member of, or in any way associated, either directly or indirectly, with the Communist Party? No. Can you define Communist Party? like China, North Korea. Work of national importance. Civilian direction. If the law requires it, 
Are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes. What is work of national importance? Tasks that are important to a nation. Do you know what civilian direction means? A direction from a person who is not in the military. Legally incompetent. Mental institution. Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution? Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution? No. Can you explain what legally incompetent means? To have mental problems. Can you define mental institution? A hospital for people with mental problems. Military unit. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in a military unit? Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in a military unit? No. Can you define military unit? A group that works for the government. Public benefit. Have you ever made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? Have you ever made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? No. What is public benefit? Welfare like food stamps. Bear arms. If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes. Can you explain what bear arms means? To own or use a gun. Immigration benefit. Have you ever married someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit? Have you ever married someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit? No. What is immigration benefit? Things like a visa, green card, or citizenship. Torture. Were you ever involved in any way with torture? Were you ever involved in any way with torture? No. What does torture mean? To hurt someone physically. Form of government of the United States. Constitution. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Yes. Do you know what form of government of the United States means? Republic. 
What is the Constitution? It is the supreme law of the land. Non-U.S. resident. Have you ever called yourself a non-U.S. resident on a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? Have you ever called yourself a non-U.S. resident on a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? No. What is a non-U.S. resident? Not a U.S. resident. Procure. Prostitute. Have you ever been a prostitute or procured anyone for prostitution? Have you ever been a prostitute or procured anyone for prostitution? No. Do you know what prostitute is? Someone who has sex for money. Can you define procure for me? To find someone for sex. Hereditary title. Order of nobility. Do you now have or did you ever have a hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? Do you now have or did you ever have a hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? No. What is a hereditary title? Royal title, like prince or princess. Do you understand what order of nobility means? Like king or queen. Terrorist organization. Have you ever been a member of, or in any way associated, either directly or indirectly, with a terrorist organization? Have you ever been a member of, or in any way associated, either directly or indirectly, with a terrorist organization? No. What is terrorist organization? A group that uses violence against people. Crime. Offense. Convicted. Have you ever been charged with committing, attempting to commit, or assisting in committing a crime or offense? Have you ever been charged with committing, attempting to commit, or assisting in committing a crime or offense? No. Can you define crime? An action that breaks the law. Can you explain what offense means? A minor crime. What does convicted mean? To be found guilty of a crime. Religion. Were you ever involved in not letting someone practice his or her religion? Were you ever involved in not letting someone practice his or her religion? No. Can you define religion? A belief in God. Overthrow of a government. Have you ever advocated, either directly or indirectly, the overthrow of any government by force or violence? Have you ever advocated, 
either directly or indirectly, the overthrow of any government by force or violence? No. Can you define overthrow of a government? To remove a government from power.